So for this formula, I'm going to be using two different data sets. In the first one, I have the code of a customer, I have its sales, and I have the customer name. So I'm going to be bringing this name from this other workbook where I have the codes of customers and their names. I want to know the names of all the customers in this database. So the first thing I need to do is to type in the equal sign and then I'm going to be typing V lookup. I'm going to open up the parentheses and it's asking for a lookup value, which value I want to bring from the other table. So in this case, the value that I want to look for is the code. So I'm going to select cell A2, then I'm going to put in a comma, then it's asking for an array. So where is this information going to come from? In this case, I want to look this value on this table. So I'm going to be selecting here from cell A1 down to cell B12 because this is where the code is located. Then I'm going to hit comma and it's asking for a column number. It's asking for the number of the column where the information that I need is located. So in this case, I have column A, which is the first column. And then what I need is column two, where the customer name is located. So I'm going to type in here two. Okay. And then it's asking for an approximate match or an exact match. So I'm going to type false in this case and I'm going to close my parentheses and I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, uh, the formula is working now. It look for this value down on the other database. So it look for this number and it found it right here. So it brought up the name of the customer that in this case it's Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other rows, but in this case, I just need to copy it. So I'm going to hit control C and then I'm going to select all of this, um, all of these cells and I'm going to hit control V to paste the formula. And as you can see, it's working. So now I have the names of all the customers in this new database. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more videos and tutorials. Thanks again. See you next time.